Pippan of uh, plot number 298 given to us by the survey department. The date is shown at this point down below. All right. Uh, it says there the uh, survey department plot number 2000 uh, plot number 298. All right. Tippan and this is in a scale of 1 is to 1000 with the north shown here. Should we? This tracing matches perfectly with the tippan, the north being completely parallel to that. Therefore, this is the correct north as shown in the original tippan, and this is the correct size of the tracing of the tippan. We we'll now remove the tracing to show you how it has fitted onto the tippan. Now, this is survey number 176 of the army, which shows plot number 298. This survey has been produced as a result of the 2008-9 survey and it shows the entire area of the army as well as the north which you can see in the right in the corner over there all right and this is plot number 298 which we are now going to focus on of survey number 176 so survey number 176 and these are the outlines of plot number 298. It's the original. Alright, as you can see from here, this is the original which we have received under the Right to Information Act. Once again, let's go to survey number 176 and you will notice that when we come slowly to the north of this survey, we find that this north is exactly on this fold, which is parallel to all of these folds. That's the fold along which the entire map has been folded. Therefore, one can consider that these are the folds which represent the north. Which represent the north. Okay? Uh, there's another thing, interesting thing that you can see on the survey. If you can just focus once more here. It also shows the old fixed points and the new fixed points. The old fixed points are marked as OF and the new fixed points are marked as ON. If you go through this entire map, you will find that there are no old fixed points on this map. All the points are ON. ON, 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 ON. On this entire map, there is not a single old fixed point. And all of these folds represent the true north. What we are going to do now is to take the tracing of the tippan that we had got under the Right to Information Act and place it over this map to see what has happened with the orientation of the map as well as with the size of the map that has been shown which we have received under the Right to Information. Now what we are going to do is we are going to start folding the map from this side. Can you hand me this piece? I hold the tippans. She's folding it trying to keep the north which you can see here. All right. Yes. One more fold, if you don't mind. Right. Now you can see the knot, which is on the fold. Can you just put it straight? A bit straight. Pretty straight. This is the north, this is the north which is on this fold, parallel to this fold, therefore one can consider that this is the north of this particular map. What we are now going to do is I will take the tracing of the tippan which I have in my hand and I will place this tracing, I am going to start from above, this is the tracing, you can see that this is the same plot, you can see the north which is shown there, alright. And I'm going to keep the placing, keeping the knot exactly parallel to this fold. And let's see what happens. If I match it, you'll find, I don't know if you can see this, but it just doesn't fit with the plot. 
this is the plot, like this. If I match it with this point, if I match this point with this point, we get a triangle here. We get a triangle which comes out here. We get a triangle which comes out here, and you can see this triangle which is here. Whereas this end is. There's a difference of so much. Okay. Now let us say that we forget about the north, and we match it to the points exactly on one of the lengths. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see it on this movie. But you can see that there's a patch of land which comes out here. Which is roughly about 50 feet. Which is roughly around 50 feet. Which comes out here. You can see the red ONs which are here. Right? And you'll find that this is matching perfectly. We we'll just take a break. Notice what has happened to the north. The north is now at a degree of approximately 13 or 14 degrees out from the north which is here. Once you place this tippan, the original tippan with aligned. the north perfectly aligned to this fold. We will just keep this on the fold so that it is perfectly aligned. You will find that this is horizontal to the ground. Right? Watch what happens here. This goes straight into the ground, which shows you the degree of deviation that this army map has. Now imagine, this is a map of the army which has a difference of almost around 14 degrees. I'll try and adjust for this to make it onto the ground and I'll put this north. This is where it is, I would imagine, the kind of deviation from the north that you get. Right? What has happened is, is that the army land, if we go, if we, if this is the right north, just let's place it again horizontal to the ground. If this is the right north, there has been a redistribution of army land, where they have decided to get cut land, such as they have done from our, uh, from plot number 298, which is different both in measurement as well as in direction. All right, and redistribute the land further out. And if this is what is happening over such a small piece of army land, imagine what happens over 8,000 acres of army land, which they, have which they claim to have surveyed during the same period. And that also explains why there are no old fixed points shown, because none of the old fixed points would fit, because the north is completely wrong.